What's up YouTube? Please enjoy part one of my exclusive interview with James Largo of The Cichlid Shack. What up YouTube? This is Paul, the Inventory King. I'm here today with James Largo at The Cichlid Shack. What's up James? I'm good. How are you? Thanks I'm, for coming out. I appreciate doing, it. I'm doing awesome. Thanks for having me. Appreciate that. I've uh, been wanting to come down here for a while and we got a special video for you guys today that's uh, an interview. I got a handful of questions for James. Um, so you guys can get to know him a little bit more. Uh, so the first question I got here is, how long have you been into fish keeping? Uh, I got my first tank at the age of eight years old uh, in Boone Tank. Uh, I was immediately drawn to cichlids and been on that road ever since. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I know I started off with Central and South, and as soon as I seen the colors, I, I had to switch to Africans. Yeah, just the, the colors are amazing. It was the way to go. Um, when you were when you had your fish when you were eight years old, uh, was it always African cichlids, or did you did it progress to African cichlids? No, I started with Mbunas, and from there I found out about peacocks and haps, and it was all over for me. There was no other fish that was ever going to measure up to them. Um, I don't even think salt water would do it for me like the Africans do. Uh, I just, I'm hooked and it's Africans for life for me. <laughs> nice. I know I've had so many people when they're just looking at my tanks at home and I say, oh yeah, these are freshwater fish. It blows their mind when they find out that they're not salt water. Yeah, I get asked that constantly by local customers coming over. Are these salt water? I'm like, no, these are really colorful freshwater fish. <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. Um, what, uh, when did you get into building your fish room? What, what got you into turning this from a hobby into a business? Um, to be honest, it was uh, seeing John at KG Tropicals. Uh, his original setup in his garage is what got me thinking that something like this was possible. Um, I saw his videos of his setup in his garage and I'm like, hey, wait a minute, I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Maybe this is something that I could really do. Um, and within a week after seeing those, I bombarded John with <laughs> questions. Um, he actually got me on one of his videos saying um, that, you know, these are the type of emails that he doesn't like to answer uh, because people just ask him a million and one questions. But um, we ended up becoming really good friends. We're still really good friends. Uh, talk to each other all the time. And from there on out, I went straight into the planning stage. And within a week, I was drawing plans to set up this garage. Nice. So. Nice. I know recently on a live stream, I, uh, you guys were talking about some trout cichlids, and you sent some trouts over to, to John. Yes, I did ship him some trouts. And, uh, a few other fish that he had requested, and then uh, one of my exclusive fish, which he is the first and only one to get so far, except for probably this guy right here might get one on his way out the door. <laughs> uh, so when you were, you, you drew out your plans for your fish room, how long did it take you to actually get the room built to where it is today? From start to finish, I was in the planning stage for a good three to four months. Um, it's the most important stage if you're going to start a fish room like any business. Um, first off, you want to figure out what you're going to do with it. Are you doing it for a hobby? Uh, are you doing it just for fun? Uh, is it going to be a business? Uh, so I spent a lot of time planning out where I wanted each size tank, how I could fit the most possible amount of tanks in here and what would be the best layout and uh, of course water supply, electric, insulation. Um, I did do a video on you know how to set up a fish room. Yep. Um, you can check those out on my channel but um, it's very important the planning stage is probably the most important before you even start doing anything. Plan it out to a T, know exactly what you want to do uh, and then as far as your budget, whatever your budget, triple it. Because uh, whatever your budget's not going to be enough. Yeah, that uh, that makes sense. I know I along the way I made some mistakes because I didn't plan enough. Um, so for those of you watching, go go to James's channel, The Cichlid Shack, on YouTube, and uh, check out his videos on you want to set up a fish room. He's got great info on, on that. Uh, so James, being in Arizona, obviously it's hot here. Uh, what do you do to keep the temperature in your rooms consistent? First off, I have a central heating and air conditioning system. Um, 
that's running at this time. Uh, we also, most of the summer actually, I've just cracked the garage door and had a lot of fans running. And the tanks stay right at 82 degrees, 80, 82. Uh, during the winter time, I do have to run heaters. Um, it doesn't get incredibly cold here, 50s and 60s, but uh, of course the tanks need to stay at 78 to 82, so I do run heat in here. Uh, there is an individual heaters in the tanks. It's all room climate control. Uh, I control the room temperature to, and the tanks all stay at that thing, at the right temperature. Unfortunately, being in the fish room, it's humid. It's humid. Yeah. So uh, for us, it's kind of miserable in here. For them, it's heaven. Absolutely. I know being in a fish room, one of my first times in something like this, it gets humid in here, no yeah. doubt. No there's, doubt. A, there's a lot of water in here. There's no way around it. Please let me know down below what you think of part one. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share, and stay tanked.